Hello, everybody. This is Sunday. It's June 13th, and we are headed into week six of our online astronomy course. And you'll find in module six that it's about two chapters. It's about chapter seven, which is on the moon, and it's about chapter eight, which is a survey of our solar system. So I thought it would be fitting to show a picture of the first moon landing, Apollo 11, that happened nearly 52 years ago. And I'll move this, I'll move aside here so you can see what's in this picture. There we go. This is a picture of Buzz Aldrin on the moon's uh, surface taken by Neil Armstrong. And Aldrin is setting up an instrument called a passive seismometer, and it's to measure moonquakes. And just like earthquakes on Earth can tell us the details of the Earth's interior, studying moonquakes helps us to understand the, the, what the moon's interior looks like. Also, just over my shoulder here is a corner cube reflector. And that's used uh, this way. People from Earth shoot a powerful laser. It hits that reflector and that beam gets reflected directly back to Earth. And by measuring how much time it takes to go from Earth to the moon, to the Earth, back to Earth again, and knowing the speed of light, they can figure out exactly how far it is to the moon within a couple centimeters. And that's just amazing. And it gives us valuable information about the moon's orbit. And so it's, it's just an amazing uh, couple instruments here that you can see. Also, just there at the side, you can see the flag and in the background, the uh, lunar excursion module, the LEM, as it was called, that carried the astronauts down to the moon and then uh, will bring them back up to the command module that's orbiting overhead. And that's the one that Michael Collins is in. So in this module, uh, one of the videos is a video called, it's not about Apollo 11, this is about Apollo 16, which was the most scientific of all the Apollo missions. But the video is called Apollo 16, Nothing So Hidden. It's 28 minutes long and it, it's a pretty old video, but it's still the best video in my opinion that really shows what went on in this fascinating mission to try to find uh, some really old rocks on the moon and really do exploration using the little uh, dune buggy that they took up to the moon, the lunar rover. So I hope you'll enjoy uh, watching that. And one more thing I'll point out here about the uh, moon surface and about this particular picture is that notice you can't see any stars. And that's because you know, being out on the moon's surface is sort of like being out on the beach. It's really bright. And so you have to use in your camera a fast shutter speed to get the correct exposure. And that shutter speed is just too fast to capture the faint stars. So there's no stars really showing up in this image. So you'll learn all about the moon. You'll learn about how the moon in module six, how the moon was formed about, uh, you know, four billion years ago, something like that, when a massive object came in about a Mars shaped object came in and smashed into Earth and sent out debris that later formed our moon. Um, you'll learn about what the moon is made of and that can tell us some, you know, just studying the craters on the moon can tell us a lot about the early history of our solar system. And you'll learn about that as well. Now also, uh, the uh, next chapter is chapter eight, the second chapter you'll be studying in module six. And that's an overview of our solar system. And you're going to learn how our solar system was formed about 4.6 billion years ago, when a giant cloud of gas and dust out in space, rotating slowly, began to contract under its own gravity. And that gravity pulled that cloud together so it got smaller and smaller. And as it did, it rotated faster and faster and faster. Just like an ice skater who pulls in her arms if she's doing a scratch spin, spins faster and faster and faster. And that fast spinning, that rapid spinning 
Well, what happened? Have you ever seen somebody make pizza? They take a big ball of pizza dough and you start twirling it in the air. And what does that ball of pizza do dough? What does that ball of pizza dough do? It spreads out into a disc. And that's what happened to that cloud of gas and dust. As it spun faster and faster, it flattened into a rotating disc. And at the center of that disc, our sun formed and all the planets formed within the disc, which is why all of the planets are rotating in the same plane and why they're all moving around the sun in the same direction. So you'll learn a lot about uh, how our uh, solar system formed out of that cloud of gas and dust. And I tell you, I this earlier this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I was at a meeting of the American Astronomical uh, Society. It's just, you know, a meeting of uh, professional astronomers, not only from the US, but all over the world. And there was a lot of attention paid in that meeting to star formation and the formation of planets and exactly how this process works. And, you know, it's an exciting time because we're getting more and more new observations of other planetary systems forming. Right now, you'll find out that we know uh, about over 4,000 other planets orbiting other stars. And we can watch all the stages of, those, of star formation using our telescopes and especially infrared telescopes because infrared light uh, penetrates gas and dust and lets it see inside those uh, clouds of gas and dust. So we're learning a lot about star formation and you'll learn about the, the basics of how um, our solar system formed in this module. So I hope you enjoy that. Now, as far as what's in the sky this, this week, there's not a lot. Uh, it's the first quarter moon on Friday, June 18th is will be the first quarter moon. And two days from then, on Sunday, June 20th, the day I'll be making this video next, uh, on Sunday, June 20th, is the summer solstice. The summer solstice is the beginning of summer. It's the day when Earth's North Pole is tilted most directly toward the sun. And so it will be the longest day of the year. The sun will be highest in the sky on Sunday. And also, uh, if you wanna know exactly what time that is, that's gonna happen at 9.32 p.m. on Sunday, that's Utah time. So if you wanna go outside at 9.32 and just look up at the sky and think about the summer solstice, I think that would be pretty cool. But that's what's going on this week. Um, we're learning about the moon, we're learning about uh, our, our solar system, where it came from, and learning some of the overall characteristics of our solar system. Now in modules to come, we'll be looking at the terrestrial planets, the inner planets, you know, just uh, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. And we're looking at the gas giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And also we'll be learning about all the other objects that are in the solar system. So the next couple modules, we're going to be studying the solar system. And I hope you enjoy that because this has been the golden age of exploration of the solar system and we're still in it. And the little rovers are still roaming around Mars, they're still flying around Mars and uh, the little helicopter ingenuity is anyway. And so this is really a golden time for solar system exploration. So I hope you enjoy this uh, material and I will look forward to seeing you next week. So until then, have a great week and I'll say goodbye. So bye-bye till then.